everyone and thanks for tuning in to Smash Factor TV once again. My name's Natalie Adams and we're going to have a look at how to hit a really good flop shot with this video clip. So when you're wanting to hit a flop shot, basically the ball is going to go vertically in the air very, very steeply, very quickly, and it's going to land at a very steep angle as well. So you're not going to get a lot of roll on the ball, and it's perfect for the situation that we're in here where uh, we're next to a greenside bunker. We've only got about two yards to the edge of the bunker, we've got to carry the bunker, and then we've only got a few feet for where the pin is cut. So we're looking to get the ball up very vertically, very quickly, so that it lands very vertically and doesn't really roll on that much at all. So key bits for doing that, we need a lot of loft. Now, a lot of you may carry lob wedges. They're great, they're up at sort of 60 degrees of loft. You could do this with a 58, or you could use a 54, slightly open the face. So uh, just rotate the face slightly to the right just to give it a little bit more loft. Uh, the main thing you want to do here when you set up to play this shot, if we're going to get the ball and get the club sliding right underneath the ball to get the ball very, very vertically off that club face, we want to play the ball forward in the stance. So play the ball inside your left heel if you're a right-handed player. And then also just get the weight back more on your right foot. So I would be saying here maybe 60, 65 percent of your weight on your right foot. The other thing you want to do as well when you do set up is we don't want the hands too forwards so we want the weight back on the, the right foot, we want the ball more opposite the left foot and then we want the shaft leaning back slightly so this is really one of the only shots when you're trying to get height on the ball is when you get your hands back and what we're trying to do is bring the club back down and slide the club head through the grass so let the shaft become vertical and then beyond vertical as you go through the shot and that'll help you slide the club head under the ball as you turn through and then play so we certainly don't want the shaft leaning forward so weight back ball forward we're going to swing back just hinge the the wrist a little bit just to give a bit of height into that club head but the main thing is you want to slide that club head through the grass and just allow the shaft angle so that you're not coming in with the shaft leaning forwards. We want the shaft to become vertical and then to go beyond vertical. So that club head slides under the golf ball. With a little bit of practice, it's a great shot to have because it really will help you out of some sticky situations. So that's got the ball up really, really vertically. You are going to have to take quite a big swing because we want a lot of height on that ball. And with the ball going up so vertically, you have got to swing uh, with quite a big swing to get enough distance to get the ball over the bunker. Uh, but that ball will land very vertically, so you won't get a lot of run on the ball. It'll allow you to get really accurate. Uh, and close into the pin, save yourself shots around the green. Uh, if you like that tip, then please follow us uh, on YouTube. It's absolutely free to subscribe to our channel there. There's loads of uh, additional video help to help you improve your game. Uh, it's a game-changing golf tip.